All right. Today I'm going to show you all how to set a Profinet name and IP address for remote I.O. So right now I have a S7-1200, so 1212C, and a remote I.O. I am 151.3 p.n. So first thing I'm going to do is download to the CPU. All right, let's set our PGPC interface, PNIE. I'm going to choose my Ethernet card from my computer and direct slot 1-X and press start search. This should find the CPU and as long as I have the part number and firmware the same, I should be able to download to it. There's my S7-1200 it found via ISO. So this is out of the box, so there's no IP address tied to it. So let's press load. Now press load again. All right, loading. Start all. Say finish. All right, so now the PLC is in run. And typically what I tell all my customers is to make a remote rack work for the first time. You just want to have the head unit and the resistor on the end so that you can make sure that the head unit is talking to the main rack. So first thing you do is you go to your network view, go to your distributed I.O. and find what head unit you have. Mine is a ET200S, so if I go to General, then Catalog, it's going to be the IM151-3PN, which is an ET200S right there. And you want to always make sure that you check the firmware on the side of it. If this is not right, it is never going to work. And then once you're done with that, you would then make, a, make an Ethernet connection. So let me delete this so I can show you all. You just go from here. Drag, go to your ET200, done. The next thing that you need to make sure is click on your Ethernet port, go to Ethernet address, and it's going to be 192.168.0.2 or whatever you're wanting it to be. You can either have the project generate the name or you could generate it yourself. So let's say remote IO or remote number one, right? Oops. So now if we press download, download the new hardware, press load, say load. Now what we need to do is click on our Profinet IO system, just right click, and then we're going to press assign device name. So this is where you can assign both all of all of your remote stuff. So if you drop down this menu, you go to remote number one, and it's going to look for anything that has this head unit. So we're going to press update list. It's going to search for anything that's for the remote number number one. I am 151-3, and if you click on this. You can press flash LEDs, and if you look physically on your ET200S, you'll see the LED lights flashing. So if you had 10 of them, you would know which one you're downloading to because there would be a list of them here. So let's unflash it, and then let's press assign name. Now it has the new name, so let's press exit. And right now if we go online with the main PLC, it should be happy. So right now it's talking, but it's only with the device name. So let's double check that we get the actual IP. So if we go down to our remote number number one, go to online and diagnostics, click function. We go to the IP address. And to know what the IP address we have in our project, we can double check that. By clicking on the Ethernet port and then going 192.168.0.2, 255, 255, 255, 0. So let's go back to that IO and go to IP address. So we're going to type in 
and then 255.255.255.0. Click Assign IP. Now the new IP should show up here. And now if we press Update Accessible Nodes, we should see the new IP. All right, it's going to be PLC 1. PLC is a remote IO is taught to, and everything's happy. All right, thanks for watching.